Hey guys, it's Mike McInerney with another episode of Workout 101 on the MF Trainer. This is a special episode, something we haven't done yet. This is Real Training 101. So what we're going to do is, I'm in my Real Training program. I'm going to explain all the different types of things that I'm going to do with each progressive set or superset, and then come back to you guys and talk to you about the technique afterwards. So here we go. I got a set of power cleans. We're going to move right on over into box jumps. All right, here we go. All right, guys, just finished a set of power cleans and a set of box jumps. Now there's a specific reason why I did these two movements. In my particular program that I'm following on the trainer right now, my profile is a sports specific athlete. My goal is to increase my power, my strength, and my speed. Now I'm not training for some type of professional event or anything like that. But training like an athlete, if you have the capability and you understand the technique, you should always train like an athlete. I don't care what your goal is. Unless you're a, unless you're a bodybuilder, you might want to be doing some other types of things. But if your overall goal is to get aesthetic type of a physique to where you're focused on performance, you need to be doing these type of movements. The power clean, again, it's just more of a strength and power movement. That's why I actually executed that first. Move right on over to a plyometric exercise. But I do this at the very first part of my workout program because trying to do plyometrics at the end isn't the best way for your body to generate the force and the power needed to enhance your performance. So we're going to move on to the next set here. Talk to you soon.